Today I'm going to show you guys how you can create 3D viral reels like Houston Cold. Normally it's really complicated and long to do, but I found the best and easiest way to do it with the help of my After Effects script. So basically what it does, it will automate the whole process of setting up a 3D camera scene for you. So you won't have to do any of the heavy lifting, it will do it for you. So if you're interested, don't hesitate to check it out inside of my description. So now what you're going to have to do is simply create a new project, Same then create a new composition and make sure that the composition is in a vertical format. Once this is done, you're going to have to click on OK. Now, the first thing that I will have to do is simply drag and drop a background that I found online. I'm going to drop it right there. So the first thing I will have to do is create a 3D text. So I'll simply write edit and I'll put it at the center of my composition. So I'm just going to select this tool and I'll put it at the center. Now what I'm going to do is simply select my text and change its color to green. So I'm going to click on that white thing and I'm going to select the green color. And now I'm going to create a new text that I'm going to overlap to the older text. So I'm just going to put it back to white and I'm going to put it at the center. So basically what I'm going to do is simply stack all of my letters to do an animation like so. Now I'm going to drag and drop a picture of Houston Cole that I found online. I'm going to put it into my timeline and I'm simply going to scale it up a little bit so it can fill up the frame. After that, I'm going to create some new text. So right click on it, click on new and click on text. I'm going to write his first name and I'll simply center it into my composition like so. I will then distort it so it can look stylish a little bit. And I'm going to simply put it behind Houston Cold. So I'll just put the layer of this text under the layer of Houston. And then I'm going to simply change the color from white to red. As simple as that. Now what I'm going to do is simply do the same but for his last name. So I'll just copy and paste the same text and I'm going to change it. So now what I'm going to do is simply modify the second text. I'll select it in the la and then I'll write the new text that I want. And then what I'm going to do is simply position it like so. Okay, all right. So now what I'm going to do is simply make it bigger. And I think we're done with the text. So what I'm going to do is simply select both of my red texts and I'm simply going to create a pre-composition out of them. Now that we're in that pre-composition, what I'm going to do is start animated. So I'm simply going to play around with the opacity. So at first it will be at 0%. I'll do the same to the second text. So I'm just going to copy and paste my keyframes into the other text. Okay, I think I like this a lot. So I think I can polish it a bit more. Okay, like that. Now what I'm going to do is simply apply a Gaussian blur effect on this text. So when it, when it's at a low opacity, it's going to be blurred out. So I'm just simply going to add some keyframes and at the beginning it will be blurry. So I'll just play around with the settings to see how much of a blur will, be, will do the trick. So I think I'll add a little bit more and I'll just pass my keyframes into the, the other layer. So both of the texts can have the same blur effect. So now we're done with all of the text. So what I'm going to do is simply pull out my folder and I'll add the After Effects logo. I'm simply going to drag and drop it inside of my timeline. So as you can see, it's way too big, so I'm going to scale it down like so. And what I'm going to do is simply pull it up. Like you can see in the animation, uh, the logo was actually up there. Okay, so that's the goal. Now what I'm going to do is simply pre-comp the logo with the Houston Cold text. And I'm going to click on Control shift c And there we have a new composition. And as you can see, the logo is way too high in the composition. So when I'm going to... Uh, move the text down the logo won't follow with it but i got a solution for that what i'm going to do is simply go back to the composition and i'm going to scale the text down and i'm going to also scale the logo down and i'm going to put it inside of the visible composition so as you can see it was scaled down so just scale it up inside of this main composition and now it's back to normal and when you pull it down you'll see the logo with it so that was the longest part I'm basically done with setting up my scene. The only thing that is missing is the 3D camera and placing all of my layers into a 3D space. So I'll simply use 3D5 Pro and click on the first button. And as you can see, the old 3D setup was set up. Now to fix the background, just click on scale background. And as you can see, it's back to normal. You can also manually scale it up if it's not what you were looking for, like so. Okay, that's perfect for me. You can also control the camera with this slider right there. And, and now to add some realism, I'm going to add some shake just by clicking on this button right there. And as you can see, some shake were added. Now what I'm going to do is simply select my 3D camera and I'm going to animate the positions. 
So you know the drill, you'll have the first keyframe at the first frame and then you go a little bit further and just start animating. And the animation will be pretty simple. I'm just gonna play around with the Z axis right now. But as you can see, the host and cold animation appeared at the very beginning, beginning of the composition. So we missed it. So all I'm gonna do is simply delay it to where we actually see host and cold. And just like that, it's perfect. So I think I'll just place it correctly like that. Okay, now it's well placed. Yeah, that's it, that's good. Now what I wanna do is actually select my camera and simply pan it upwards to see the logo like that and that's perfect that's what i that's what i wanted so i'm just gonna go a few frames forwards and i'm gonna zoom in like so i'm just gonna center it like that but the logo is way too big so i'm just gonna go to the composition and i'm gonna scale it down okay that's perfect so i think it's pretty good but the animation is going way too fast so i'm just gonna select all of my keyframes and i'm gonna, go, I'm gonna drag them like that and i'll just make a bit of adjustments to make the animation more polished and perfect okay now that we're done with that what you can do is simply activate the motion blur on all of your layers this will make the animation look 10 times better and i think i want a more persistent shake so i'm going to click on the amplitude null and i'm going to simply pull it up like that and now the shake has been enhanced and now what i'm going to do with the after effects logo is simply add a shine effect on it so i'm going to go to the composition of it and I'm going to add the light sweep effect on it. I'm going to apply it to the logo. And then what I'm going to do is simply play around with the settings to have something that I like. So I'm just going to put the edges border a little bit bigger. I'm going to put the brightness a lot bigger too. And I'm simply going to start the animation. So all we will need is two keyframes. The first keyframe will be at the very top and the second keyframe will be at the very bottom. This will create this cool shiny effect and as you can see in our composition, the effect has been done successfully. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It's pretty clean, but I'm going to have to spice up the animation a little bit more. So I'm going to select all of my layers and pre-comp them. Now I'm going to go to the new pre-composition and I'll simply start to add some overlays on it. So I'll just add this Houston Cole overlay and I'm just going to change its mode to lighten. Okay, so I think I'll duplicate it to for it to be a bit more visible. Yeah, like that, it's perfect. So what I'll do now is simply add another overlay just for the fun of it. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it inside of my timeline. And I'm gonna put the mode to add. And I'm simply gonna scale this thing all the way up so it can fit in the frame. Okay, so this is perfect. Let's just see how it looks. And that's pretty clean. So I'm just gonna have to pre-comp everything. And I'm simply gonna add some more effects to it to polish it even more. So I'm simply gonna add a quick aberration effect on it. So I'm simply gonna search for this effect right there. Okay, this one. I'm simply gonna add it to my composition. I'm gonna go to Style Lake and I'll simply put the Distort Uniform up and I'll do the same for the aberration, like so. So now we have something really interesting going on, but I think it's way too big for the uniform distortion. So I'm just gonna put it down a little bit like so okay that's perfect and now what i'm thinking about doing is simply adding a glow to add a final touch to it so i'm just going to use the projection create glow and i'm simply going to mess around with the settings to have something that i like so i'll just put this setting up like that and i think i'll put this one down okay i think i like the look of that so as you can see we're done it was as simple as that the heavy lifting of the 3D thing was all done by the 3D5 Pro script. And all you can do is simply do this technique all over again to have a full reel that you can post in your Instagram. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a like, leave a comment on what you want me to do. And I'll see you guys in another video.